The interesting thing about the center of mass of an object or a system is that is the point where any uniform force on the object acts. This is useful because it makes it easy to solve mechanics problems where we have to describe the motion of oddly shaped objects and complicated system. Okay students, what is center of mass? how it works welcome to my channel dna.12 education our topic today centers of mass okay students the center of mass is a position defined relative to an object or a system of objects it is the average position of all the parts of the system weighted according to their masses. Okay, students, a road of weight is made up of a large of number of very short lengths of material. Its width is on weight. Okay, look at this system. Lad, this is a very very large of number of a sort system okay okay students look at the purple color we call that a large of systems a road of width is made out of a large of number of very short lines of material that is object A, object B, and object C. Of course, it's with its own weight, right? Okay, students, look at the system A. This is object A. As we know, there is weight force acting on this object we call that wa and for object b there is weight force acting on this object we call that wb and for this object c of course there is weight force acting on this object we call that wc okay for the simplest one we can draw x y axis diagram right let x a is a distance of object a on x axis XB is a distance of object B on X axis. And the last is XC. XC is a distance of object C to X axis as well. Very simple, right? To replace all the components by a single weight is known as center of mass. Once again, to replace all the components by a single weight is known as center of mass. To simplify the diagram of three objects above is drawn like this. 
This is a whole object. Is made up of object A, B, and C. Once again, this is the object. Is made up of object A, B, and C. On this x, y axis diagram, we put x. We put x cross as the sign of center of mass. Once again, x or cross as the sign of center of mass. To replace all the components by a single weight. Okay, students, we call this one center of mass, denoted by x bar. Is it very simple, right? Okay, students. This x or this cross sign denoted by x bar as center of mass. Center of mass to replace all the components by a single weight. Okay, students, to understand more about this material, we go to the next material. Okay, students, as I mentioned before, this whole object is made up of object A, object B, and object C. Once again, students, this whole object is made up of object A, object B, and object C. On this object A, B, C, there is weight force respect to A, weight force respect to B, and weight force respect to C. To make it easier, we can draw it by using X, Y axis diagram. Okay, students, what is center of mass? How it works? How to find center of mass to x-axis? Okay, students, taking moment about O. Once again, taking moment about O gives WA time XA plus WB time XB plus WC time XC equals to X bar times sigma of mass times gravity. As we know that W equals to M times G. So we can write MA time G time XA plus MB time G time XB plus mc time g time xc equals to x bar times sigma m times g. By using algebra, we can write x bar equals to ma time xa plus mb time xb plus mc times xc over sigma of mass. So, center of mass to x-axis, we can write as x-bar equals to ma times xa 
plus mb times xb plus mc times xc plus you can continue by yourself okay divided by sigma of mass we call this notation center of mass 2x axis that's very simple right Okay, students, what about center of mass 2y axis? Students, look at this diagram again. There are two objects. We call that object A and object B. As we know, WA or weight force acting on this object we call that wa and wb is acting on this object we call that weight force of b or wb they're very simple right that's the common symbol yeah of weight force Okay, to simplify how to find center of mass to the y-axis of these objects, we have to draw x y-axis diagram. Students, so as we know, for this object B, let y be distance of object B to y-axis. Okay, students. So let y b is a distance of object b on y axis with the same way y a is the distance of object a on y axis that's very simple right okay students how to find center of mass to y axis that's very simple. Okay. By taking moments about O or origin gives WA times YA plus WB times YB equals to W bar times sigma M times gravity. As we know that W equals to M times gravity. So we can write MA times gravity times YA plus MB times gravity times YB equals to Y bar times sigma of mass times gravity. By canceling gravity for both sides, left and right, we can simplify this equation to be W bar equals to MA times YA plus MB times YB over sigma of mass. Okay, for center of mass 2Y axis, we can write Y bar equals to MA times YA plus MB times YB plus MC times YC plus etc. You can continue by yourself, depend on number of objects. Divided by sigma of mass. Once again, W bar equals to M A Y A plus M B Y B plus M C Y C plus etc. You can continue it by yourself. Divided by sigma of mass. We call this one center of mass to Y axis. Very simple, right? Okay, students, to make it clear about this material, we go to the example. Example 1. Okay, look at this system. There are three masses here. 2 kilogram, 2 kilogram, and 1 kilogram. 
The question is find centers of mass respect to x axis. Find centers of mass respect to x axis. That's very easy, right? Okay. We are going to answer this question. Respect to x axis. We found that there are three masses on this diagram. We call that M1 equals to 2 kilogram, M2 equals to 2 kilogram, and M3 equals to 1 kilogram. Very clear, right? Okay, now we're going to M1. Please focus on M1. For M1, we found X1 equals to 4 units. X1 equals to 4 units on X axis. Okay, how about M2? Yes, that's right. No distance. Because there's no distance of M2 on x-axis, we call that x2 equals to 0. Okay, students, so now we go to M3. Please focus on M3. Yes, x3 equals to 5 units on x-axis. That's right. Okay, so now we're going to find the centers of mass respect to x-axis. x-bar equals to m1x1 plus m2 x2 plus m3 x3 divided by sigma of mass. Now we can insert the data to the formula. x bar equals to 2 kilogram times 4 units for m1 plus 2 kilogram times 0 units for mass 2 and 1 kilogram times 5 units for M3. That's very easy, right? Divided by, open the bracket, 2 plus 2 plus 1, close the bracket, kilogram. As we know that sigma of mass equals to total mass. So finally, X bar, we found 13 over 5 units. So, center of mass with respect to x axis is 13 over 5 units. That's very easy, right? Okay, students, is it clear to you how to find center of mass respect to x-axis? Very good. Okay, students, now we go to example two. How to find center of mass respect to y-axis? Okay, students, look at this example two. The diagram consists of three masses, two kilogram, 2 kilogram and 1 kilogram. The question, find centers of mass respect to y-axis. I think that's very clear to you and easy how to find center of mass respect to y-axis. Students, as we know that, there are three masses on this diagram. 
M1 equals to 2 kilogram, M2 equals to 2 kilogram, and M3 equals to 1 kilogram. That's very easy, right? Okay, students. So now our job to find centers of mass with respect to y-axis. Okay, what about M1? Do you find the distance of object M1 to on y-axis? Do you find distance of object M1 on y-axis? Yes, you're right. No distance, right? So we can write that y1 equals to 0. Okay, students, uh, what about M2? Yes, this is M2. How many distance you found? Yes, correct. Y2 equals to 5 units. Very good. Okay, students, what about M3? Yes, we found Y3 equals to 6 units. Distance of object C or distance of object M3 on y-axis is 6 units. Okay, now our time to write the formula. y-bar equals to m1y1 plus m2y2 plus m3y3 divided by sigma of mass. Okay, by inserting the data from the diagram, we found that y bar equals to 2 kilogram times 0 unit plus 2 kilogram times 5 unit and last is 1 kilogram times 6 units divided by 2 plus 2 plus 1 kilogram or total mass. Finally, we found that center of mass respect to y-axis is 16 divided 5 units. Is it easy for you, everyone? Of course. The center of mass respect to y-axis is 16 over 5 units. Okay, students, this is the material about center of mass with respect to x-axis and y-axis. Thank you for watching this video and see you at the next topic. Bye-bye.